Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by partial fraction. The given expression is not a rational function because the degree of numerator is 2 and degree of denominator is 2 both are equal. If it is a rational function, then the degree of numerator should be less than the degree of denominator. So, for integration purpose, we are going to convert this into the rational function by long division. So, I am taking the numerator x square plus 1 and I am going to divide this by the denominator x square minus 5x plus 6. So, we multiply with 1, then 1 into x square is x square, 1 into minus 5x is minus 5x and plus 6. And we have to subtract. For subtraction, I have to change all the signs of the second terms. Then we can cancel plus x square and minus x square. Then the remaining terms will be minus 5, that is 1 minus 6. Then we have plus 5x. So after division, we have quotient, remainder and this divisor. So this integration term can be written as quotient plus remainder by divisor into dx. So it is 1 plus remainder is 5x minus 5. I just interchange this and write divided by divisor. Divisor we can write into factors x minus 3 into x minus 2. Now this integration is split into two parts. First part is integral dx. Second part is 5x minus 5 divided by x minus 3 into x minus 2 dx. Now let's take this as i1, this as i2. i1 is nothing but after integration we get x plus constant c1. Then i2 I have to apply the partial fraction rule. So let's take the expression along 5x minus 5 by x minus 3 into x minus 2. Denominators are two different factors. So we apply the partial fraction rule a by first factor x minus 3 plus b by second factor x minus 2. Now let's take LCM which is x minus 3 into x minus 2. So here a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 3. Now we have both the denominators same. So we are going to equate both numerators. So we get 5x minus 5 equal to a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 3. Now let's take a suitable value for x to find the constant a and b. Let's take x as 2. If I put 2 here, 5 to the 10, 10 minus 5, 5. And this will become 0 and this will become minus b. So from this, the value of b we got as minus 5. In the same way, let's take the another value for x, 3. So this will become 15 minus 5 which is 10 equal to, when I put 3 here, it will become a. Now the button is 0. So we got the value of a and b. After finding the value of a and b, we have to substitute this in the term where we apply the passing fraction b. So a by x minus 3. So now this will become integral 10 by x minus 3 dx plus b by minus 5 by x minus 2 dx. Now this will be 10 log mod x minus 3 and the next term is minus 5 log mod x minus 2 plus c2. Now we are going to combine both to get i that is i1 plus i2. i1 is already only x plus c1. So let us take x. i2 is 10 log mod x minus 3 minus 5 log mod x minus 2 and c1 and c2 combined together is written as c. 